Hey guys, Tony Soy Sass Sass and welcome to another cigar review that's related to the dragon. Alright, so as you know, we try to review everything that's related, released for the year of the dragon, and obviously this is no exception. We got 2024 Punch. They call this Dragon Fire, but you know it does say year of the dragon on this thing. So um, we'll do unboxing and review for you guys as uh, part of the Year of the Dragon, chasing after all the dragons. So here's the box that comes with. Just want to show you guys this. Even though I probably will put a B row, I just want to make sure I show you guys this. You know, itty mini money mo. So it has a dragon. Basically, it's got the punch guy. Holding a box of punch cigars, smoking a cigar, I think, with those like Asian hats, you know, as part of their Asian themed things, all right? Says fortune on every band, right? And do, 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 let's see, 20 count box. The dragon occupies fifth position. Yeah, fifth position of the uh, zodiac, blah, blah, blah. You guys can get to read it. Don't want to waste your time for me to read this. So, uh, unbox is very easy. You get a box like this. There is two or three clips thing that is shoved into the hole. So you just have to lift it from behind that. If you leave it here, it might rip it. But if you do it behind it a little bit and just move forward with it, it's a lot easier and less likely to rip it if you are looking to collect it. All right. So here we go. You can see this uh, right here and there's another one here and there's one in the front so you kind of have to lift it a little bit inside there is um dragon's auspicious gift from noble action and majestic dream it's a cap and you open it up there we go and inside you get cigars basically piled up in here this style is they try to mimic like firecrackers right so this is basically firecracker shape and design so mm, yeah they all like that all right so uh the box itself is not like crazy crazy but i figure i still should show it you know so you guys know about how big this box is i think this box is pretty good sized you know because the cigar is pretty good sized so let's take a look at the cigar okay so the wrapper is mexican san andreas of course if uh you know it's pretty much every single cigar we have in the world now <laughs> right um so i believe it's a mexican san andreas this is mexican so it had to be san andreas right uh and then we have binder uh from nicaraguan and fillers from dominican honduras and nicaraguan all right uh the, the msrp is 6.99 per cigar comes in a box of 20 and the size is six by actually no fifth five by 60 short quarter short quarter so it's it's just big it's it's big and it's flat on both sides like a firecracker so if you see i'll probably put a picture of like firecracker somewhere here it's like that with the thing coming out was red like tnt you know so that's why they do it i i think it's pretty cool 
I think this shape has this look to it that just kind of scares you. But I don't know if I like how how hard it is to cut this thing. Because you're more likely to ruin it than not. You know what I'm saying? So, but I do like how it looks. It's got, I almost feel like you can stand, but you can't. So, all right. Smells a little bit barnyard, a little bit leather, a little bit of stinky cocoa. And that's pretty much like how our Mexican leaf smells like, really. So I remember last time I tried to use the other color. It didn't work. I had to use this color. Okay, let's go. Now, this is the second time I smoked this cigar. This one, like, you know, like you guys know. But this time, I will focus on the cigar rather than topic I'm talking about, whatever that is. All right. Oh. Hey. Bonyar, earthiness, definitely leather. Definitely, definitely leather. All right. This one is dead. Next. Let's go. Dragon fire. Let's go. Fire show. Yes. <laughs> All right. Chocolate, chocolate, leather, earthiness, pepper, sweetness, saltiness, mineral, just a little bit of like, um, Calcium bitterness or mineral bitterness uh, at the end. Just a little bit. A little bit of tobacco too. You can taste a little bit of tobacco. But the rest of that, I think is pretty good so far. I like it. Six ninety nine price tag. I can already tell you this beats six ninety nine because you guys know my minimum is six. So if you want me to add a dollar to this immediately, I can no problem. So it's already six ninety nine. Let's put that put that out there. It's already six ninety nine. So if you all you want to know is whether or not it's worth six ninety nine, you already got that. You don't have to watch all the way at the end. All right. But I think at this point. Just simply being a cigar, I already said it before, it's worth $6 to me. So from the initial taste and the size of this cigar, give them another dollar, no problem. So I'm hoping that this cigar is going to bring me more. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. I'm hoping that the flavor is good. Construction, everything is good. It's going to bring me more. But this is at least $6, $6.99. No problem. There's a lot of Yellow Dragon that we were smoking. We're going to smoke at least. So I think at the end of the year, we'll have to put it together. Which of the Yellow Dragon is our favorite? Which of the Yellow Dragon is the least favorite? So these price puts them in categories. All right, let me smoke one third. And I'll be right back. Okay, so one third, a little bit more than one third. The, the, the flavor is actually not bad, right? It's kind of like um, a powdery um, masked chocolate and leather and a little bit earthiness 
and powdery like white pepper flavor going on. It's really pleasant flavor. It's actually very easy to smoke. Especially Retro Hill, it doesn't really burn. But like, it's weird because every so often when I take that Retro Hill, it's got this like cocoa flavor, but ends in like, um, I don't know, ginger skelly and water. It's hard to tell you. It's hard to tell. Like sometimes I, I, I taste weird notes that are legit notes, but just weird. So, but right now, pretty good. I don't know if it's good enough for me to add more price to this yet, but it's pretty good. I just want to report back. One third burns well, smokes well, draws well. Everything's well right now. Okay. Second third, we'll be right back. All right. Second third. This thing is very short, so it's very close to second third, last third. The Retro Hill tastes like mint chocolate. It's got that cooling going and then chocolate going and a little bit of end notes of um, a little bit of leatheriness, a little bit of very tiny of earthiness. It's really good. It's really good. I recommend it. It's it's like um, roughly about a medium, roughly. I would say if anything, it's a medium. Uh, the amount of enjoyment you get out of this is obviously between the Robusto and the Toro. So, you know, it burns relatively fast too, but enjoyable cigar. So, uh, let's show the band. I don't feel like there's two bands, but there's only one band. Anyways, that's the band. I like the look of this band. It's got a whole entire dragon on there. Very good looking. And they took out, like they put the, the little punch guy right here, not on the dragon. So that dragon looks whole. I think that looks great. This design, eye catchy. Cut, caught me right away too. Eye catchy. So, and I like the fact that they changed the, the, the fortune in the back. This one, I haven't seen before, I think. Uh, measure twice, cut once, unless the job requires multiple cuts. Uh, this cigar sometimes for some people does require a multiple cut. I used this one before it won't even fit Like it won't even fit through and I had to use a bigger ring gauge cutter, but you know not too bad I like it enjoy it. So let's finish it up and I'll give you my final value for this cigar. You're back Okay, I'm come really close to knobbing this so That's where I'm gonna end it uh, it's a good cigar. I like it. I would recommend people to get it for the price. Oh, it's good. It's a good cigar, uh, especially on how much time you have it. You probably have roughly an hour-ish with it. And, um, you know, through, I think the, the, the cigar throughout, it's all pretty good notes. Now, did it kind of get lighter? Just a little bit, but it wasn't, it wasn't killing my experience, right? I, I kind of you know obviously we knew it's gonna drop off a little bit, but it didn't kill the experience, so it's pretty good. Now my final value for this cigar, don't be so too surprised. I'm giving it nine dollars. So even if they sell this cigar for nine dollar, I will say it's still worth it to get it. Uh, you know, maybe not a full box. If you're not gonna collect the box, I mean it's just a paper box, really. Is it worth it? Uh, uh, the paper box, not really. But the cigar itself, if you, um, I literally bought this for nine dollars something. And I, uh, when I first bought the two sticks, that's with the tax and everything. But like, I came home and I smoked it. I was like, uh, first time I didn't pay that much attention. Now that I smoked it from the box and I asked myself, is $9 worth it? Yeah, $9 is worth it. I'll pay $9 for the cigar, no problem. Cause it actually tastes pretty good. Okay. So $9 is the final value I'll give it. I, I recommend everybody to try it. Um, it's not, it's a gimmicky cigar, but it's got flavor to back it up. So I recommend, all right? So that will be it for this cigar review. I hope you guys get to try it because it's easy to find cigar. It tastes good cigar. Um, it, you know, one of those things that if you don't get it right now, you might, re you might regret in the future because now when I, uh, when I look at my uh, punch egg roll, I regret not buying even more. I bought a lot. I bought over a hundred stick of those and I regret not having more. So this is the cigars that I, you know, I might buy another box. 
because how cheap it is and how nice it is to smoke cigar. This cigar will go really nice with the hot cocoa, chocolate, latte, anything creamy, even coffee. Uh, so yeah, I'm, I'm just rambling out. But anyway, that will be it for the cigar review. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share this review to people that's like, you know, I'm not sure if I want to get it yet. And um, make sure to get all swag to support the, the, the channel. Make sure to join the membership if you want to get early access to some of these reviews and listen to our podcast on Sundays. All right. See you guys next time. Bye, guys.